guys, welcome back to the Sunless Spray YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Ray and I have been a professional spray tan artist for over a decade now. Sunless Ray has flagship location in Brea, California. And then we still provide mobile spray tans in the Austin, Texas area. And we also have our self tan line, which includes a non-toxic self tan mousse. And then the first ever self tan kit come, that's come to the market. And that comes with our mousse, exfoliating mint, and applicator mint. And I'd love to start this video off with reminding you that you can ask any questions below about fake tanning, whether it's spray tanning or self tanning. I like to refer to the comment section as kind of like a spray tan forum so I can get back to you within 24 hours and answer any questions you may have. I know a lot come up when you are first applying it or wondering what happened or how to get the best results possible. So I want to be here to help you through that process. And on that note, in the comments, I've been getting this question frequently, so I wanted to make a video just about this so that you can search it and this video pops up. You don't have to watch, I don't know, another 10 minute video of me talking about all the spray tan do's and don'ts and this is listed in it. This is just going to be an easy way. Search it and I answer it. But this question is very simple and I have a very simple answer. The question is, can I go in a jacuzzi with a fake tan on? And the answer is no. No, you cannot. It will literally take off your tan. I tell people if they want to get off a fake tan to go in a jacuzzi, that's how well it works. <laughs> the chlorine, you know, the jets and the hot water just really takes it off. So unfortunately, if you are going on your bachelorette party and you know you're going to be in a jacuzzi, don't go in the jacuzzi or don't get a spray tan. Like honestly, even if you think like, Okay, I'm gonna get a spray tan and then I'll bring myself tanner to apply it afterwards. It's not guaranteed that's gonna work. What if it comes off patchy in the jacuzzi? I can't guarantee exactly how it's gonna come off on your skin. And applying a self tanner on top of that can be hard and just kind of make you look super messy, especially on such a big weekend where you're taking a lot of pictures. There's just room for error there and I don't care what any spray tanner says, just don't do it. You will be patchy when you come out. It could be completely gone and it's really hard to fix with a self tanner when you're on vacation. But yeah, that is basically it. The answer is no. It's a simple video today, um, but it's so important to know. I've heard of people going and getting, you know, a spray tan for their bachelorette, going in the jacuzzi and then they spent, you know, 50 to $80 on their tan and they went in the jacuzzi the first night and then they're pale the rest of the weekend and they're super disappointed, upset with their spray tanner, blaming them. And when really, if we were just to educate the client in the first place and tell them just no straight up, none of this would have happened. Follow me on Instagram at Sunless Ray. I share a new fake tan tip every Tuesday of the week. Today is Wednesday and I'm publishing this because I am a mom, I have another business as well. And you know, life is just crazy, but I'm here making the video work and as always comment below subscribe like i love making these videos and just helping people have better tans you can use code free ship for free shipping on our sunless ray products at sunlessray.com that is only in the u.s unfortunately i'm sorry it just our shipping is so expensive to get it out of the u.s that it's not even worth the product honestly at that point but yeah that's it for today i hope you have a great rest of your week and stay tuned for a new episode next week on a Tuesday. <laughs>